If you thoroughly enjoy creating mind maps to brainstorm ideas, or if you find it easier to make sense of an idea when you could have everything laid out on the table, or if you love visually connecting ideas and thoughts, then this video is for you. Today, we're gonna dive into the app Heptabase. In short, Heptabase is an app that allows you to visually go deep with your favorite topics and your favorite ideas. It's got several what they call meta apps within the OS of Heptabase, right? That all share this same card database. This means that it's it's got the power of Notion and Obsidian, but without the learning curve, okay? It's taken the best of uh, a lot of the PKM tools and apps out there and created what I feel like is, is one of the better personal knowledge management apps. It's got daily note like Obsidian and Craft. It's got tag databases like Notion. It's got bi-directional linking like Notion, Obsidian, and Craft. It's got block-based note-taking like Craft and Notion. It's got tasks like Mem and Notion and Craft. It's got whiteboards like Miro and Obsidian Canvas and Millanote Whimsical. It's got mind maps just like Miro and Millanote and Whimsical as well all in one app. Now, is it going to solve all your problems? No. Uh, is it gonna be the only app you ever use? No, it's not. But it may just be one of those keystone apps in your PKM tool belt. So let's dive in. All right, so we are in Heptabase right now. And the first meta app that I wanna talk about is Journal. So on the left-hand side, this is your sidebar right here, and we'll go over all these. First one, kick off with the Journal. Uh, this is the equivalent of daily notes in Obsidian and in Craft, like I mentioned at the top of this video. This is a way to catch all your fleeting ideas and thoughts, your personal stories from the day. You can make a plan uh, for the day with to-dos. You can journal your thoughts, all of it. Uh, if you're used to an inbox, a journal kind of acts like an inbox. This is the equivalent to an inbox as well. With Heptabase, you, you want to think of it this way. You know, seeds are, are first planted in, in soil before being watered and nurtured. And ideas are first planted in the journal before being distilled and crystallized in, you know, whiteboards. So do you have to start with journal before moving to a whiteboard? No, of course not. But I'm just here to introduce you to the concepts and capabilities of the app and I'm sure you'll have a few ideas of how to use this as I go through all of the features here. Now all writing in journal is block based meaning that you can think of the content inside as building blocks that you can edit and move around easily. This is similar to, to Notion like I mentioned. Uh, if you're familiar with that block base then you are really going to like writing inside of Heptabase. Any block item can be turned into a card, uh, or a group of block items can be turned into a card as well. And this creates a backlink to the journal uh, note automatically, which is nice. You can kind of see, again, where these seeds started. If you have a thought or idea, and it started with a, a simple phrase or a simple quote that you heard, and you wrote it down in your journal, you turned it into a card and it turned into a blog post, but you can see on that day, January 23rd, this is you know the, the quote that just struck me and turned into this blog post or it turned into a great conversation with a friend, whatever it is. Journals, they, they function like a normal card uh, and you can format text, uh, you can bold, you can italicize, you can you know, do headings and you can do this all you know, with your normal, you know, if you actually click and um, highlight the text, you can format it that way or if you're used to the slash command, you can slash and do a heading, you can slash and do a divider, you can slash all the formatting that you are used to in other apps. It also has metadata at the bottom. And as of right now, this as of this recording, you can add you know tags and stuff like that, but it also has the created date, the updated date. Um, they recently added the word count and the character count. Um, so this is a this is a journal. If this has been helpful so far, I think you'll really enjoy my free guide on how to take book notes. This is a short PDF on how to get insights from nonfiction books uh, into 
your personal knowledge management system. So by the end of the guide, you will have a simple system for highlighting your books, a mindful approach for adding content to your PKM, a process for creating building blocks of knowledge for the future, and finally, a simple way to make more connections inside of your PKM. The link to that free guide is in the description below if you want to take a look at it. All right, let's move on to map. Map on the left-hand side over here. This is the a collection or a view of all of your whiteboards. Have to base uh, their superpowers whiteboards, and we'll go over the whiteboards here in a second. But you can think of whiteboards as uh, as the house for your cards, and the map is the house for your whiteboards. Okay, uh, so you can add a whiteboard by either right clicking and click new whiteboard. Or you can double click anywhere and then click new whiteboard and uh, it'll create a new whiteboard for you. You can create as many whiteboards as you want and you can also nest whiteboards within other whiteboards for organization purposes uh, or however you would like to use nested whiteboards. As you can see, I actually have a creativity whiteboard right here and inside of that are two nested whiteboards uh, right now, how to generate novel ideas and the partnership of wisdom and creativity. To nest a whiteboard, you can simply just click uh, on a whiteboard and drag it inside of a, another whiteboard. Or you can right click and select move to and then choose your whiteboard that you want to move it into. You can also change the colors of the whiteboards by right clicking. So depending on how you want to categorize these, these can be changed uh, into colors for being able to easily identify a certain whiteboard if you want to do it that way. Card library, this next one on down here. All right, card library. This is where all of your cards live. Now cards are similar to notes that you would create in Obsidian or pages in Notion. They are the building blocks of Heptabase. The whiteboards that you create are going to be made up normally of cards. Uh, anytime that a card is added anywhere in the app, whether it's in a whiteboard or anywhere else, uh, it is automatically added here to this card database. And I'll show you an example of that in a little bit. But you can create uh, filtered views uh, here by tags and so I can look at you know just creativity uh, cards that are tagged I can look at which cards that you know if I'm looking for specifically a card inside of a whiteboard I can filter by whiteboards I can fil filter by card type so there are different card types there's notes um, these are the the type the cards that I add that are not necessarily journal or highlight just a regular a regular card and then there's the journals, if I want to add in the journals. Um, and then I can add in highlights as well. These all, these filters are still on. But, <clears throat> and then I also have PDF and video. So if you add a PDF or a video inside as a card, you can filter by that as well. I've not gotten too far into the PDF or the video side, but I'm just starting to dive into it. So um, probably we'll have those soon. Now to uh, create a card, you can um, you can click the plus sign right here, All right? Uh, or you can do Command or Control N to create a card. And every time you create a card, uh, it shows up here. Even if you don't put anything in it, now a feature that I really really like uh, because I end up um, double tapping in a whiteboard often on accident and it creates a new card for me but i don't necessarily want it to create a new card but they have this cool feature here with the broom icon where it deletes any empty cards i click it once confirm it and then it deletes all of them for me which is really nice really like that i really like that yeah this is the next meta app here now this is a, a home for all of your tags okay you can create different views uh, as of this video, uh, they have the option to, uh, let's see, they have the option to either do a table view or a Kanban view. But within that, 
you have options to filter by uh, many different properties, and I'll show you that in a second. But you can also create groups of tags. So you can see Heptabase already, when you actually get into Heptabase, they've already created a tutorials for you guys. Um, and so you can check those out. But inside of the app is what I'm referring to. But when you go into, like, for example, this Heptabase tutorial tag, you can see here, this. if you're familiar with Notion, this looks a lot like Notion here with all of the different views that I have. You can name these views, but the two main ways that you can actually see the data is Kanban style or table style. But again, you can uh, filter it however you want with the properties. So each tag and card, uh, I should say, each card you can add properties to it. Uh, very similar to Notion databases if you are familiar with that. This is highlights. Um, this is a very cool feature that I like. You can actually connect your Readwise account to see or to have access to all of your highlights in one place. So this is going to be under settings and then connections right here. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you may know that I don't normally use or uh, advocate for Readwise. I mean, I, I to be honest, I do and have had an account before uh, for years. And I actually do have, as you can see, I have highlights. But honestly, this app, uh, may break me and I may turn to start using Readwise. I've used it a little bit more often. I still use the free version, but I've used it a little bit more often now that I've been messing with this app, uh, Heptabase. And I really, really like being able to have the highlights in the same place and pull them in whenever I want to start thinking about a certain quote that I heard uh, or came across. Finally, we're going to talk about cards. Uh, I've talked about the card library a, a bit ago, right? This is the card library. But the cards are, are the building blocks of Heptabase. Uh, I mentioned this earlier. Some basic ways to add a card is you can actually, in like let's say you're in journal, um, and I have a new idea. Uh, I can turn this into... A card, any any block or a group of blocks can be turned into a card. So if I turn this into a card, um, now it automatically links. If I go into this card, it'll now automatically have the backlink for the journal that this was associated with, like I mentioned at the top of the video there. Uh, another way is from the card library. Uh, we've shown that before where you can actually hit the plus button or command N, and uh, I think anywhere in the app, any command and is going to give you a new card and then uh, on a whiteboard as well which will go over how to add a card on a whiteboard as soon as we get into the whiteboards now with uh, a card you can format using markdown uh, as you can see I have the to do's here I can do bullet points I can do uh, I think this does the toggle sometimes that's the quote uh, but you can also use a slash command all these items will come up for you um, and so you can, there's a lot of stuff that you can add in here, a bunch of stuff. All of it is formatable. And if you're, like I said, if you're used to Notion, you, you'll pick up pretty fast when you're writing inside of the cards. Um, you can connect cards together using bi-directional linking. If you hit the at symbol, you can start typing um, and connect cards together. So if I go into this, a timeless creation, uh, note right here you'll see right here january 23rd that's the note that or the journal entry that i just uh linked this to so creates one for me right there if you are in obsidian or just in general if you are a big fan of uh, bi-directional linking which i am that's something that you're going to enjoy and have to base uh let's see uh, metadata, as of this video, I, I think I mentioned this before, but metadata on any card, let me just do a new card right here. The metadata is the same as a journal, so right? You can see created, updated, word count, and tags. To add a tag, you simply will just click into this, this area right here, and you can start typing to search existing tags, or you can create new tags right here. That is it for cards to the whiteboards which is again the superpower of heptabase i want to talk about search uh, you can search 
anything and everything with the command or the shortcut command O. Um, and so again, it tells you right there, find anything. I can start typing. Now <clears throat> it's going to break it down uh, almost per meta app, right? So I have these whiteboards that it'll give me if it's, if it's available tags, then I have cards. And then after that I have highlights, all the meta apps. And then at the very bottom, I have a lot of creativity uh, highlights and then I have blocks so I can search blocks inside of, uh, you know, inside of notes, it looks like to where <laughs> I can link directly to a, a specific block uh, in craft the notes app that I use. This is something that I absolutely love because I, I it's not just linking to the title it is linking to the exact spot the exact uh phrase that i want to connect it to so really awesome uh again this is uh searching as well so if i want to actually find a specific block it does that for me um something else is the left sidebar we've gone over this every time we've looked at these meta apps here but you'll also notice there's tabs and uh Every time you open up, uh, you know, a tag or uh, some sort of card or a a uh, whiteboard, it'll show up here. It's almost like your most recently used. But the cool thing is you can uh, group them. So up here in the the top right of the tab area, you can click this and uh, rename this group, and you can also. Uh, add multiple groups so if you if you have maybe something like where you uh, you have a certain project that you're working on and you're continuing to you know to be inside of that whiteboard or something like that um, however you want to actually group the tabs um, you can do it with para projects areas resources archive if you wanted to i guess lots of ways that you can use tabs if you want to use that now we're getting into whiteboards i mentioned this before but i'm going to say it again this is the superpower of heptabase this is a place where you will visualize your notes and thinking so i'm going to go into the map and let's look at uh let's see we'll look at this whiteboard right here this is the whiteboard that i created for this specific video all right so you can create a card by double clicking anywhere on the board okay i mentioned this before in the video but this is what it actually looks like when i double click it automatically will create a card for me and then in the card library it shows up a wonderful new card there it is now you can add existing cards and highlights and journals from the right sidebar we've talked a lot about the left or we've been a lot in the left sidebar but the right sidebar is uh, where also the magic happens. So I can use the shortcuts command two, or no, command three is for cards, this icon right here. Command four is for journal. So I can add journals and command five is this next icon right here and that is highlights. So for, uh, for instance, if I have a highlight that I want to pull in here I open up the the direct highlight and then there's this way to drag to the whiteboard so now I have this highlight in my whiteboard right here so now with a journal it's a little bit different I I can do this a couple ways but I can um, go to the journal icon or command four and then I can hit this three dots and hit uh, add to whiteboard and it'll add this uh actually it'll open up a, a search for you to actually go into the the whiteboard which is this is all about heptabase okay so i've added my journal if i want to have my journal available there another way to add journal is right click and then click journal okay now uh let's see for cards command three and you just simply grab the card and drag it on there onto this endless canvas where you can connect and engage with multiple ideas at once. Um, let's see what else. 
Let's talk about lines. So you can see here that I have multiple lines connecting to multiple uh, different cards. These are all cards right here. And uh, so you can select a card uh, and then right click a couple different ways, but right click and then click draw connection. And it'll give you this line right here that I can go over to any other card or a piece of text and I just click that card or the element that I want to connect it to and it creates a connection. You can style the, the lines. If you're used to that, you can change the colors. You can change the, uh, the type of line, whether it has a big arrow, little arrows, you can change the, uh, you know, the curve of it. If you want it to be kind of straight or curvy, you can add text here and um, if you're used to, to mind mapping and all that then you'll probably know what I'm talking about the thickness dotted lines all kinds of stuff with uh, creating these connections here uh, let's see if you're not quite ready to like you can see right here I have a few items that look a little bit different than the cards so this is actually text on the whiteboard. It's not a card itself, so it's not going to show up in my card library. If I want to add text, I can right click and then hit text. And if I'm just not quite ready to add a card yet, I, I just want to start brainstorming ideas. I can create cards, uh, I mean, no, create text with that is formatable. I can make this an H1 right here. Uh, create bullet points if I can spell bullet uh, and then I can take this same thing and draw a connection to this card over here right so a lot of cool ways that you can use lines and text and cards I can also create a mind map like a legit mind map uh, by right clicking and click mind map idea sub idea another sub idea and then I can do ideas off of that idea okay so if you're used to mind maps really cool really really cool uh, let's see you can also create sections now this is this is really cool because if you want to group some items together that are related let's say that you know I I want to group this this mind map right here. I can click right click and hit section, and uh, I can either drag this in here or I can draw it over if I want to. So now this this is a, a section. So for organization purposes, and, and you know, once you get the the whiteboard's kind of filled up with all kinds of stuff, it, you can kind of get lost in it. So you can create sections, um, and it makes it easier to kind of distinguish uh, what's what. So there's sections right there. Uh, you Like I noticed, I mean, like I mentioned before, these are all cards, but the, the cards right now are collapsed. If I want to just collapse a card, I click the arrow, uh, the chevron right here, and it collapses it for me. So if I need to simplify things, I can do that, or I can expand it if I want to. Another thing is when the card is expanded, I don't necessarily have to right click and do draw connection. I, there is an icon right here. If I click it, it'll automatically give me that line that I can connect to another element. Uh, another cool thing is uh, the, the ability to tidy up some things, right? So if I have, uh, let's say like these are kind of all over the place, right? Uh, I can click and drag and highlight these and these three dots will show up for me. If I click that, I can click tidy up and I can tidy up by left aligning or I can tidy up by aligning or with spacing or the layout. Uh, so it automatically, if I have a bunch of ideas that are scattered everywhere and I need to just kind of get it all in one place or a little bit more clean, I can do that with the tidy option. Uh, let's see what else. <clears throat> The right sidebar can act as another window as well. If I want to, let's say, open up this map note and I still want to be able to see the whiteboard, I can double click 
and it'll show me the map. And I can also expand these. These are all things that I've opened, which uh, is really cool. You know, if I'm if I'm working on something in the the mind map, I'm sorry, something in the the whiteboard, but I also want to be able to see the content inside of the map. I or this note on the right hand side. It's easy to go back and forth. Uh, you can also search Google inside of this. So if I want to search, let's say on creativity, this top option right here, um, it's going to search obviously all of your, your notes and stuff like that and highlights, but you can click Google search and it will search for you inside of Heptabase, uh, Google for you. Now it won't open up like, you know, I can, I can open up web pages, but if it's going to open up a new tab inside or a new window inside of this right here, it, it can't do that. But it's really cool to be able to kind of have this inside of the app. Oh man. Thank you so much for sticking with me. This whole video, this was a lot to, to capture and go over. I hope you found it helpful and I want to know from, from you and hear from you. What was your biggest takeaway? What are you excited about diving into? Or what do you what do you want to know more about? What questions do you have? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.